Hi, now we are going to talk about increasing. So, in order to widen the mashup ring, this little spiral we have already made, for example, to make the beak, we will need to add stitches. So, in other words, we will need to increase. And increasing in crochet is achieved by working two or more stitches where there will be normally only one. So, let's see. I have here my first round, the five single crochet magic ring, and now I have to work my second round. And with, that reads increase in all five stitches. So first I'm going to count my stitches to make sure I have the correct number. Remember always to count your stitches now and then so you make sure you have the number of stitches required in the pattern. So this is way the easiest way to count the stitches is to look at the plated tops like this. So this is not a stitch, it's a loop. And then I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to count this one because it's the same stitch as the first. So when I did my slip stitch like this, this is stitch is in top of this one, so it's the same stitch. So again I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five. And in this fifth stitch, like this, I'm gonna work like my first stitch. I'm gonna go, do I go in to work a stitch into, so like this, inserting the hook through both loops that make it a single crochet, as we already know. So I'm gonna yarn over or yarn under, as you wish. And I'm gonna make one stitch like this, one single crochet, I'm gonna use a stitch marker, so like this, I'm gonna do this, remember to put your stitch marker in the first stitch you made in every round, round. so I have one, and now I ha I'm gonna work a second stitch. So instead of going to the next stitch, which will be this one, we are going to insert the hook exactly in the same stitch. So I have a single crochet there and I'm gonna go again in the same place and make another single crochet. So now we have made our first increase by making two single crochet one, two, in the place where in one stitch of the previous round. So we still have to make four more increases to reach the total number of stitches at the end of the round. So now I'm gonna go to the next stitch and make like this one, one single crochet. And instead of going to the next, I'm gonna go exactly in the same spot and make another single crochet. So now I have four single crochets or two increases. And now I'm gonna go to the next. So I have five and six. So I have six single crochet and or three increases. And now seven, eight, like that. And another, the last increase. And I have one, two. So each increase is made by two single crochet where we normally have one single crochet. So that's it. We have already made the second round, our first round of increases, in this case of the beak. So from this moment on, We'll stop increasing and crochet 10 stitches in each round two more times until we get we reach the four rounds. So I made like this. I uh, first I have a sing uh, five single crochet uh, magic ring, and now I made five increases, so I have 10 single crochet. I'm gonna only show you like the third round of the beak. So I'm gonna place my marker, sti my stitch marker here in the first single crochet of the uh, of the third round, first of the third, and now I'm gonna make single crochet. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten single crochet. So my beak is getting the shape of a beak. So now I have to make another uh, 10 stitches round, but I'm gonna leave it like this because I wanna show you another thing. So we will crochet the big like this and the wings like this, but in the case of the head of our duckling, we have to make a, a, a few more rounds of increases. But now in the third round, I have here like my six single crochet magic ring and then I, we have to increase six times so i have 12 stitches and now in the third round we will read something that says single crochet in the next stitch or and then increase in the next stitch repeat repeat six times and that instructions uh, it says like the instruction inside the parenthesis are the stitches you have to repeat six times all over the round and 18 is the total number of stitches we should have at the end so now we are going to make one single crochet I make one single crochet I'm gonna use like this hairpin to <laughs> to use as a stitch marker so it's the same I have a hairpin and it works perfectly so I have one single crochet and now I go to the next stitch and make an increase. That is two single crochet in the same space, in the same stitch. So one, two, like this. So I have one single crochet, one increase. So I have in total three, one, two, three, and now I have to do the same five more times. So then I go one single crochet like this and then an increase. One, two. Again, one single crochet. Go to the next stitch and make an increase, which is two single crochet in the same space like this. So like I'm widening my spiral <laughs> and then one single crochet, one increase like this, one single crochet, one increase. Oh, sorry. And the last sequence, like one single crochet, one increase. Now, I reach the end of my of my round and I this is the first stitch I made and this is the last which is an increase. So now I have 18 stitches and this sequence of one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase six times. So this is the third round and the fourth round says two single crochet and then one increase. So I took my stitch marker and then I'm gonna go my first single crochet. Remember to put it again like this. I I use the stitch marker like I'm gonna show you where to place it. So I have this one, I have a lot of stitch. So you go under both loops like this, as if you were inserting the hook, like this. So now this is a fancy one and I have one single crochet and then, but the, four, the, the, the round number four says two single crochet and one increase. So I made one single crochet, then I have to make another single crochet and then the increase, which is two single crochet in the same space. So you see, this is my line of, of increases and then I have one, two, one, two, which is the increase. And then again, one, two single crochets, and then the increase, which is two single crochet in the same space, like that. 
So you're going to see that it's kind of a hexagon, like six points, because we are making six single crochet. We are adding six single crochet per round. So now again, one, two, and then the increase. And then again, one, I'm going to show you. So like this, I have one, two, single crochet, and then increase, and then one, two, increase, and then again, one, two, and I'm almost at the end of the round, and here, the last increase. So you will have something like this. So this is, I made four rounds, like one, then two, three, i sorry, four. So I have to make another round of increases. I'm not going to make it, make it right now. So the, the next round you're going to do one, two, three, and then an increase, one, two, three, and then an increase, and you will have, you have to reach the 30 stitches per round, and then we will do the same as we did with the big wings and tails, and make no increases between round six and 14. So you are only gonna crochet 30 stitches per round, and go till uh, round 14. So then we are gonna have the head of our duckling, and that's all for now. Thank you.